Anyway, here I am with this incredible little gadget that um, has been on uh, EVTV's uh, show with Jack and Brian. This is the uh, digital uh, AC-DC voltmeter. It's the JLD5740TV. Um, it is really, really, really frustrating. Um, and I had a real hard time getting it, even with Jack explaining it on his show, I still had to call, you know, get in touch with him and, and find out where the wires went. I mean, it was just totally frustrating. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm going to uh, uh, show you how I finally got it uh, with Jack's help and um, show you where, I mean, there are oh, 16 places to attach wires on the back and the instructions you have to hunt them down, it's unbelievable, and you end up with two sheets of something that is totally meaningless. It, it, I mean, it means something after a while, once you talk to someone like Jack, but uh, in the meantime, you just tear your hair out. It's, it's totally frustrating. So I'm going to show you what I've done. I've set it all up because I didn't want to risk destroying one of the delicious uh, Calb 180s, so I decided to set it up on, a, uh, on an old 12-volt uh, car battery, and... Uh, you know, cobbled together a few things here. And I'm using some resistors that aren't the right resistors, but um, it, for you know, for for this uh, explanation purposes, they're going to just do just fine. All right, so we'll have a look a bit closer now at all this stuff. On the bench, I've got 12 volt supply for the voltmeter, the Tyco Kilovac relay for the load. This is my load over here. I've got a, um, five very small, they're undersized, these are not the right um, uh, resistors because they're uh, 0.04 ohms. I've got some 0 0.1 ohm 300 watt resistors on order. They're on, on a ship, a slow ship from China. This is a 12 volt battery just for demonstration purposes. Um, now I have everything set up in this uh, little uh, voltmeter for a 12 volt supply in this case and the parameters on that uh, let me get my piece of paper the choices that you have on this uh, voltmeter are uh, 1 volt uh, up to 10 volts, up to 100 volts, and up to 500 volts. So I've got it for the 12 volt battery, but it's in the uh, 100, um, the 100 volt uh, section. Now, this was all incredibly complicated to try and figure it all out. Uh, the first one, which is pretty straightforward, was the uh, power supply for the unit and that is on the back here it's pretty straightforward and uh, you put the power supply into uh, terminals one and two there are 16 terminals on the back then uh, because I'm using uh, a 12 volt battery and not a three point uh, you know a cal uh, a lithium battery uh, I'm going to use the um, five and eight uh, points uh, terminals for the sense uh, for the sensing on the actual battery terminals and I've got some crocodile clips there and they go back and they screw into that when it comes to using uh, doing it on the calbs I'll put it into the uh, the number eight and the number six um, terminal because that will be inside the ten volt uh, zero to ten volt range. Now, the relay that I'm using, I'm using the J1 relay, and uh, let me get the other voltmeter because that way I can just look, read off the other side there. I'm going to be using the J1 relay, and those, those wires, let's see, one of them goes to my positive 12 volt supply, and the other one, which is on pin 14, and pin 14 is the normally closed 
uh, terminal on the J1 relay, that goes to my Tyco Kilovac uh, terminal, uh, one, of the, one of the wires, the 12 volt wires, and then the other one, the other wire from that uh, Tyco Kilovac goes to my negative uh, 12 volt power supply. So that creates a loop there when, it's, uh, when, when the relay is, is on. Um, that is it when it comes to the wires for this little thing. So that's pretty good. Um, then I set up the parameters inside here going through, the, uh, going through all the uh, inputs, the settings. Uh, the first setting that you have to do is, uh, is input type setting password 0089. Uh, that you have to set in there, you have to set in your DC code and in this case it would be code 1 because it's 20, minus 20 to 100 volts. DC. So I did that, um, and then you go to the next one, which is the parameter setting for the password is 0036. Anyway, this just is a pain in the butt, and um, eventually I figured it all out. I'm going to switch it on and show you what's going on. Right. So it's cycling quite rapidly. It's actually um, there's a quite a lot of volt, uh, quite a lot of amperage going through these wires, and they're getting pretty hot, and they're probably not going to last very long. And I've got it cycling at the moment between uh, uh, when it hits 12.3 uh, volts, it zaps it, it, it puts the load on, uh, and brings it down to 12 volts. And when it hits 12 volts, it shuts off the load. Let's it recover back up to 12.3, uh, and then it, it 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 hammers it again with the load. And the load is is pretty substantial because it's uh, uh, 0 0.04 ohms, and it's a 12 volt battery. We're talking somewhere in the region of uh, 200 and something amps, which is way too much for these thin wires. Um, so it's only up there momentarily, and then it, it shuts off. So I'm just trying to get my calculator here. Let's say 12.3, 12.3 volts divided by, you can see the wires jumping like crazy, uh, divided by uh, 0.04 ohms equals 307 amps momentarily shooting through here. Uh, we can verify that, although well, it was like 139, I think it read for a second. Now that's 260 something. Anyway, it's quite a lot, probably way too much. I'm just going to show you um, how I cycle through the uh, through the passwords and the settings on this. There's a little door on the front. The first thing you want to do is uh, open that up and there's a, a set button there, or map the enter button. Um, an arrow pointing that way, an arrow pointing down, and an arrow pointing up. Uh, we want to set it now um, for the uh, amount of input range that we're going to be reading. So that's a password you have to put in of 0089. So I'm going to move across with the cursor, and then we are going to put in 8 across the cursor, and 9. I'm using the down arrow just so it gets to that quicker. And then set. Now that opens up this, uh, this uh, input area, and then that's what we want to do. And we're going to say, yes, we're going to go and set what we want. At the moment, I had it set uh, from, it says, minus 20 to 100 volts DC. And that is not code number 1. I'm going to want to go from the 2, minus 2 to 10 volt, and that will be code number 2. So I'm going to set that in there now. That's done, and then I have to get from there, out of there, so I'm going to go to find end. If I just keep cycling through there, that's all I'm going to get, you see. Uh, 
I want to just hit end and then enter. So that's set. Now we want to go up here and set the, uh, the default for the full scale reading as well. There's another range here, so the parameter settings again, and it's another password, so you hit this, and the password is 0036, so you go across 0, 0, and then here, up to 3, cross, and then to 6, enter, and then it says Pull, P U L, whatever that is, or P V lower, P the P V L zero. We don't want to do any change to that. What we want to change is the P V H, the upper limit, the full scale of this. Its default is 500, and we want to set it to 10. So let's go down to the P V H, P V H, and we press. Enter, and we want it to be uh, 10 now. So we're going to go across, uh, let's see, going down on that zero, and then across one, and then we're going to 10, and that's that, and then we'll say enter. And then we want the decimal place put in, and that is, we're going to go down to the place where it says dot. Enter, it's got one decimal place, we're going to have two decimal places. We're going to do that and press Enter. And then we're going to cruise on down to find End. And then we'll press Enter to get out of that uh, menu. Now we want to set the alarms. Now, this is where we're setting the relay alarm for J1. Now, I've written down here on AH1 is going to be the lower value that we want to reach and um, the AL one when the, when the voltage gets up to a certain point when it's at rest and it goes above a certain point we want the relay to kick in again so that's going to be a higher value so let's go through that let's find uh, let's set that password now so we hit the password uh, entry again. This is 0001, so we're going to press, scroll across and then over to here, get 1, enter. H1. Alright, let's just sh show you what I had set in there. H1, enter. I had, uh, in fact, 12, and now because I'm changing the decimal place, it's saying 1.2, <coughs> and <coughs> my new for the cal, <coughs> the new value I want to put in is going to be uh, 2.5. So I'm going to go across, that's going to be 2, across again, up to 5. That's what I'm going to be bringing it down to. It will then shut off the load and it will come back up to rest. So let's see, that's 2.5, that's good and it just clicked then. Now, the, uh, we're going to go to the next uh, setting that we have to put in, and that will be the AL1 setting, and that is going to be my higher value, and in this case it's going to be 2.75, so let's put enter, that's the one we want to change, and that's going to go up to 2, go across, to 7, 7, cross again, and up to 5, 2.75, and then I'm going to hit enter. Alright, that is it. It is now set for the Cal 180, and um, maybe there'll be a slight adjustment to that, maybe I'll go up to 2.8. Uh, and, and see see what happens. But I, uh, so far, I think that's what what has been suggested, and I'll try that for bottom balancing. So all I need to do now is, is get my proper load set up. Um, and uh, oh, let's get out of this menu. That's another thing we can do is just you know, get out of the menu, find end, press enter, and we're set. Once I get the sense. Uh, 
the sense wires onto the battery, I'll get a, a voltage reading there. And in fact, I should change that now, and I'll give you a demonstration of what, what it's reading on my, on my cowl. So now I've got the <coughs> wires for the sense, um, the sense wires for the voltage reading on the six and eight terminals on the back. And that's giving me my reading of the actual battery at 3.29 volts. I'm going to check that as well. 3.278. And that's saying 3.29. We check another meter. So it's 3.27. Saying 3.29. Don't know which one to believe. Those two against one, isn't it? Two against one. What does that mean?